Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is Summer again from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. Last time we talked about building LAMP applications with App3DB RDS MySQL, comparing with ECS hosted ones by our short demo. Did you get the points? Well, um, before we start today, don't forget that we have some product trails. Feel free to try out if you are interested. Well, Today, we will introduce how to import and export data to and from RDS MySQL. As we all know, um, there are so many ways to do so, including AWS Database Migration Service, um, Alibaba Cloud Data Transmission Service, and many free tools of open source like MySQL Dump Process. You will be charged if using the former two methods, but having incremental data transmission with zero downtime. In this lesson, we'll focus on the last method, doing that free, but um, some downtime required. And um, I have posted related link of DTS solution in case you're interested in continuous importing migration with zero downtime. Or if you prefer to see that via video, um, please leave a comment to let us know your needs and we will arrange that later. Well, um, we have wasted a lot of time on background. Let's start now. Two parts will be included, import and export, or we say download. For import, the story is to import database from an ECS hosted MySQL to a RDS MySQL on Alibaba Cloud. There are two steps, export from ECS hosted MySQL first, and then import to RDS MySQL. Let's do the demo now. All right, uh, first connect to the ECS. And we need to uh, export data from ECS hosted MySQL first. As you can see, uh, the alter test is the target database we want to uh, export. And there is a table in the database. It is alter tab. Okay. Uh, let's do more. Let's do more queries. There are 10,000 records in the table. And how about the structures? OK. That's the details of the uh, table we want to export. Where let's log out and uh, export the database all right, uh, use this command. Uh, we can uh, export the target database auto text to this file. Okay, let's run. All right, it's done now. This is the SQL file we just got. The export has done now. And next, we need to import the SQL format file into the RDS MySQL. As I just mentioned, there are so many ways to do so. Um, today, we will introduce two ways. Uh, one is to use um, command line, and the other is to use uh, DMS. First, let's get it done. Use a uh, command line, okay? 
then we need to um, log into the RDS. There are two ways to uh, log into the uh, RDS. One is to use DMS, just click the button, log on to DB. Um, this is a username and the password. First, let me show you how to get the account. Here's the account we already created before. Right. Look on. Where uh, to import data to the target database, we need to create a database first. Create. Executed. Success. Okay. Then log on to the RDS MySQL in command line. Okay, we have already log on to the RDS MySQL. And here is the database we just created use it and it's empty now yeah it's empty now let's log out first and now imports the data into the target database. Okay, this is the target database. Well, it's done now. Let's log on to the RDS and check. Databases use this one and show tables. All right, it's not empty anymore. You can see that we have um, imported the author table into the target database. Let's see the structure of the table. And then we check the data. All right. Um, select count from Oh, we miss a year. Right, ten thousand record. Well, uh, this is one way to do so, and another way is um, through DMS. Let me show you. First, we need to rename the table. I forgot database name. Databases use and uh, ring auto table. Rename old. Okay.
We are using DMS to import data to the target database. We need to download the uh, SQL file to uh, on-premise PC or laptop first. OK, uh, let's do it. Download it. Oh, it's ready now. Mm. Okay, then we need to log on to the RDS. RDS. And then um, choose the target. Show tables. Oh, we need to use it first. Okay, um, the formal one table was shown on the screen. And now we need to import the another import new task. Uh, choose the target in database and add attachment. Choose it, start. Well, it's completed now. Let's do a query. Show tables. Yeah, we can see two tables uh, show on the screen now. This is the new one we just uh, imported. OK, let's uh, see the structure of the table. Is it right? All right, that's right. There are three columns. And how about the uh, record? Well, um, it's 10,000, right? This is all for importing database on ECS hosted MySQL to AppsRDB RDS MySQL. And next, uh, I will show you how to export data from RDS to your on-premise service. Well, uh, there are also so many ways to do. First is using DTS, and the other is to use DMS. I will show you use DMS. Well, uh, click New, Export. And this is a target database we want to export, right? Mm -hmm. And you can choose from uh, export data and structure or only export data or structure. And here's our tables uh, we can choose to which one to export. We export this one. OK. It's already uh, completed. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And next time, I will introduce um, RDS MySQL product series and how to choose from them. See you next time.